devastating earthquake which struck Nepal. Nepalese officials now say that at least 7,040 people are known to have been killed in the quake. More than 14,021 people were injured. Medical teams from all over the world have now travelled out there to do what they can, and London medics are among them. Joining us is Dr Hamad Khan, Deputy Medical Director at Humanity First UK and a paediatrician at St Thomas's Hospital. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning. Now, you've been coordinating a team visit to Nepal. What's been needed over there? What feedback are you getting? Well, the, we sent out a 12-man team to Nepal. Uh, and obviously, in a situation like this, uh, when there is an earthquake of this, of this nature in a country like Nepal, where there is a, a massive rural area, and there are a lot of unknowns when we send a team out, and so it can be very difficult to predict exactly what's going to be needed. So the guys have got there, they're on the ground, and they've set up a medical camp in the, uh, the Gorkha district of Nepal. And, and we've been incredibly lucky to be able to work with the Ahmadiyya Sang Nepal, who were already there in Nepal. Um, and uh, so they're our partners on the ground. Um, and what we found is uh, essentially uh, massive devastation there on the ground. Well, there's something like 90% of the of the buildings, it, it, which is, Gorka, of course, was the ep, where the epicentre was, and 90% of the buildings in some of the communities are completely destroyed. That's right. And um, because the earthquake happened in the middle of the day, many of the people were out working in the field. So there were, there were actually a limited number of crush injuries and a limited number of, of people who had uh, died in collapsed buildings and very few buildings in the rural areas. But what you, what you have is that uh, people's houses are destroyed, um, they have nowhere to live, um, and so a lot of the problems now are related to exposure, uh, a lack of food and water, and so the main medical need really is around looking after the very vulnerable, the very elderly, uh, children uh, and, uh, and pregnant women. And what are these people being cared for, Hamid, given that, as you say, the buildings are demolished and many people are uneasy about going back into buildings anyway in case of uh, future shocks or tremors? Well, that's right. And, and uh, what, one of the main humanitarian needs then is ensuring that they get shelter. So tents, um, simple uh, tarpaulin even, uh, just somewhere for them to be able to, to, to sleep safely uh, and to stay safely uh, overnight uh, are absolutely essential. Um, and, and that is one of the, one of the main humanitarian needs that, uh, uh, that we're having to fulfil. So the treatment, when you're giving treatment, for example, what, what can you uh, realistically do, for example, when you're in that, in that scene of devastation and there you are, you find somebody who's been crushed and who's obviously got injuries... How, how, what, what are the first things you can do and, and what do you then need to do to actually get them to, to a proper hospital? Well, for someone who has suffered a, a traumatic injury, um, as you can imagine, the first few hours and days are absolutely critical. Um, and the initial, uh, we call stabilisation, is exactly the same as, as we would have uh, in the UK as well. So it involves uh, a team of, of doctors and nurses being able to uh, give that patient um, IV fluids and the right uh, treatment to stop any bleeding and get them transferred quickly to hospital. Um, now, over seven days from the initial, initial earthquake, um, there are very few individuals who um, uh, are in that situation. So although the the, the headline concern um, after an earthquake, it tends to be uh, the sort of the crush injuries, the traumatic injuries. The actual number of individuals who have that sad, uh, sort of uh, problem is, is very few. And the, the major issues that we see, the major medical problems that we see are related to uh, very many other problems, respiratory problems, um, people with uh, pneumonia, ch children with um, uh, diarrhea. Those are the those are the major issues that we see, and 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 these are problems that can that can kill um, the very vulnerable as as easily as those sorts of um, traumatic injuries that we yeah. see as well. Dr. Hammer Khan, thank you very much. Deputy Medical Director at Humanity First UK and paediatrician at St Thomas's Hospital. It's BBC London ninety four point nine.